Hey guys, welcome back to another Gnome 49 video. Another Gnome 49 video. This is the only Gnome Norm 49 video I've ever done. So, hey, welcome to another video. <laughs> okay, so Gnome 49 is in beta. It's doing a lot of really cool stuff for HDR. It's also doing a lot of really cool stuff for display and windows management, app enhancement, developer tools and under the hood upgrades and customizations and power user features along with HDR support. It's just incredible the things that they're doing. So we're gonna try to go over this as quick as possible. Where is it? Do I not have it? Is it not here? Well, there's a new application called Showtime. Let's see, it's here. Aha, there it is. Into the password, install it, because we're gonna want it, right? Because I wanna show you Showtime. Uh, since it's one of the apps that matter. So this is the new app for playing videos in GNOME. Yeah, it, it, it does stuff. It's the most basic thing in the world. Let's just be honest. Honestly, it's so basic it can just be completely forgotten. Another one is called Papers. Papers. Can we install that as well? Yes, we can. Okay. So it's a new document viewer. And uh, let's go take a look at that. I'm installing all these applications. And it's just like, it's just the most basic thing ever. There's no settings or anything. I'm, I'm really unimpressed with what GNOME's been doing lately in terms of, you know, any of their applications. And I don't have any documents to view either. Uh... Unless I do, have I ever kept anything document related in here? Uh, hmm. Let me check something. Random PDF. Dummy PDF file. Okay. Let's open up the dummy PDF file and um, see how that works out okay so we're gonna just open this with uh papers 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 where are you i'm surprised it doesn't generally open on its own when it's installed front controls have i lost the plot i cannot find it papers there it is that that's that's it that's all you get and there's this and then you just like annotate and stuff. Yeah, not impressed. Uh, what else? Manuals, a fresh app designed to take over dev help for developer documentation. I don't think we care. All right, so there is better full screen performance for applications. There is now integration of Wayland top level tag protocol. I don't know what the hell that means. Actually, I should probably figure it out. Okay, so let's begin. Um, first, better full screen performance. GNOME 49 introduces enhanced direct scan out support in Mutter, which allows full screen apps, especially video players and games, to bypass compositing and render directly to the screen. This is achieved by using a opaque format substitution for Wayland DMA uh, buff paths allowing compositors to lie to the kernel about buffer formats when windows are fully opaque, enabling scan out even on older display engines. Reduce, reduces resource usage, smoother playback, and lower latency for full screen applications. Wow. So in other words, we should get better performance. I guess it's we're bypassing the compositor, uh, which is absolutely nuts. So I guess we should probably take uh, this for a spin then, should we? Rounded to, let's see if I get better performance. Because of the changes, of course. Hmm. Feels that does feel a little bit smoother. The resources are a bit higher. 
than I'm used to, because again, I usually play this thing on Hyperlin, so it takes almost no RAM and no VRAM. But it definitely feels interesting. One second, let me uh let me turn on performance mode. Wow. See how little this thing, this game, cares about your performance mode? Interesting. Well, I can tell you this. This does feel a lot better than it did. It feels more like if it was running in Wayland than it is in X Wayland. Which says a lot. So it feels super smooth. Yeah, this is this, this is pretty cool. All right, let's get back to the video because honestly, I don't need to be doing anything like that. Um, next is Wayland top level tag tag protocol integration. So Mutter now supports the XDG top level tag V1 protocol uh, from Wayland 1.4.3, which enables persistent window identification across sessions. Restoration of window sizes, positions after reboot, custom compositor rules, so always on top behavior, scriptable windows management for automation tools. This protocol is a big win for power users who's developing uh, and users and developers for building advanced workflows. That's pretty freaking insane. That's actually pretty crazy. There's touchpad acceleration fix at startup as well, so I don't really care about that. Uh, logical monitor per persistence enhancements. So, GNOME 49 improves how Mutter handles multi-monitor setups. Uh, making logical monitor configurations more persistent across reboots and session changes. Increasing bias towards smaller scaling factors which helps high DPI displays. Supporting 10, 12, and 16-bit UV or sorry, YUV formats aiding HDR workflows. This means viewer surprises when reconnecting displays or switching between docked and on dock states. Oh, that's pretty nuts. Well, that's everything for display and management. So now app enhancements. Uh, let's open up calculator. I'm doing the best that I can here. So... The GNOME calculator now supports uh, pre permutations, uh, combinations, or I don't know, in the greatest common divisor calculations. It does a lot of stuff. Look at that. There's a programming calculator. Now that's cool. Uh, I don't really know how to show any of that. But see, this is pretty advanced i like this calculator this is, this is cool all right so the web browser is just called web as kind of a redesign going on it says redesigned address bar for improved usability i don't notice any difference if you do good not at spy ma file manager uses transparency uh indicate hidden files yeah i see that okay that's definitely new all right so developer tools gnome builder now supports adreno projects and blueprint markup language expected to be the central to the gnome 49 sdk offering cleaner way to design gtk and lib way to uis uh under the hood the glycine a new rust based image loader that improves memory safety and supports a wide range of formats jpeg webp and etc uh refine a new app date is pretty okay that's pretty cool uh yeah the full release for this is supposed to be december the 13th 2025 now we're going to talk about hdr and i'm going to try to show some of the hdr stuff here okay first thing enhanced HDR pipelines, GNOME's Windows Manager, uh, Window Manager, Mutter now includes better support for HDR rendering on Wayland. This means accurate color reproduction and 
brightness handling for HDR compatible displays. All right, now listen here. You listen here right now. Now I tried this. We're actually gonna enable HDR real quick. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna try to just recapture the window. It looks fine on your end, but it's extremely overblown on my end. It's not good at all. So I'm gonna apply the secondary HDR monitor now. Okay. Now, now that we've done that, that's where I keep my notes, by the way, in case I need something explained. If we click here, you'll notice that there's brightness indicators. Okay. They're going up and down. They're not doing anything at the moment. And I don't know why, even though HDR is on, is on, on both displays, if they're just not working. Neither is this, but they do function. I detest them earlier. The problem is HDR isn't too good on GNOME right now. It seems to have a major regression from the last time I used it. Uh, I've gotten so used to HDR on Hyperland, which is the best HDR you can find on Linux at the moment. Hands down, there's no argument. Those are just facts. That this just seems dull and boring. But here's the good part. Reds actually look red instead of brown now. So that's that's a big plus. And I think maybe there's something wrong with my monitor settings. No, no, they're fine. Color temperatures normal. Why is this? Yeah, I'd rather have that on. Uh input. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um everything's completely normal on my monitor. It is showing that HDR is on but it just doesn't look like it's on what if i just audio there we go that didn't work so there's been some regressions. It's a beta, of course, they're gonna have regressions. This isn't like the NVIDIA driver where uh, betas are always spot on and working, which most people still don't understand. Now, ICC profile uh, integration, Mutter now supports that, uh, which is crucial for managing color accuracy uh, across different monitors, especially with dealing with HDR content. So I'm gonna try to actually go and download um, an ICC BT 2020 profile to see that if we can actually get it to load and work the way that it's supposed to. I don't know what to click here. Oh, is it this? Oh, I got it. I do. Do it. Where's the installer? It says it's open. Just don't see it. Yeah. Okay. We'll try a different way. We'll just go in through here. Color management. And the HD monitors are not showing. Or HDR. This is a problem. Again. There's definitely some regressions going on. And now it's all blowing out for me. I'm glad that you don't have to see this. Oh my god. So inconsistent. All right, I'm going to just turn that off. Uh, backlight control improvements, as I showed you here. Yeah, backlight improvements. So uh, they help opt. They, these changes helped optimize brightness levels for HDR and displays, ensuring that the highlights and shadows are rendered correctly. And then there's the Wayland only focus. You know, it's removing towards like uh, Wayland only on GNOME, which is great. And KDE, by the way. But that's it. Uh, I think 14 minutes is enough to cover everything. Uh, we went over most of everything that matters. There's 
not much else as you can see all my extensions are working i updated them manually i'm going to show you how i did that because someone's going to clearly ask and going to share uh go into gnome shell extensions pick one we'll try this one see this your metadata johnson basically you just add uh the comma and then go down below and add 49 it has to be added just like that that's it then you just log out and log back in and the extension works i didn't need, need i did not need to do anything else because the misconception that um hey guess what extensions don't break they go out of date or they get turned off due to safety reasons they are disabled by gnome shell themselves until you change the version number it's just common sense to protect you as the user they're not broken they're turned off i don't know why common sense isn't shared between humanity as a whole but there you have it all right so that's what's new so far in gnome 49 sorry i couldn't show off more but again it's uh mostly has to do with just behind the scenes type stuff and it's really hard to show off hdr bye everybody don't forget to subscribe like the video share the video leave a comment help me out with all the uh what do you call it algorithm stuff and i'll see you guys next time